Absorption is the biggest problem in nutritional supplementation today. We can absorb 5%, 10%, 20% of the nutrient we take in. I give Clinton Miller six or seven grams of vitamin C orally and what happens? Diarrhea. Why? If he gets diarrhea, obviously he isn't absor absorbing it. Am I right? It's in the gut. It's holding water, and it produces diarrhea. Absorption, Mr. Miller, what's wrong with you? Well, he's like most people. The gut only will absorb a small amount of vitamin C. And we have to give the rest of it if we want to. As an example, I remember way back when, a man had an infected finger, the infected finger infected the hand, infected the arm, he had a huge arm. All the antibiotics in the world couldn't help him. We said, please, give him some vitamin C. The doctor said, no, that won't help at all. He said, I want some. Came to the hospital, and we started him out on 50 grams of vitamin C the first day. Second day, we gave him 100 grams of vitamin C. On the third day, the swelling was down by over 50%. And anyway, he ended up healed by vitamin C. But he couldn't do it orally. He would have had to do it intravenously. But I got an answer. Research and ingredients is done on the methods used in lab, and most labs don't tell you that those nutrients are not absorbed next by, uh, by the gut. The absorption rate of vitamin C as an example is 19%. Now give or take, I'm putting things up here pretty well recognized, but maybe uh, for one person or the other, up or down one or two percent. Vitamin C, 19 cents. You take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, you're probably absorbing at best 190 milligrams of vitamin C. CoQ10, 9, glutathione, 3, resveratrol, 2%, B12, 10%, curcumin, 10%. It's another reason why doctors said for years, don't take vitamin B12 orally. Let's give you a shot at least once a week or once a month because you don't absorb it well orally. We've got another answer. Next. We can give 100 Grams, a hundred grams, that's a big amount of vitamin C with no negative effects IV. But if you give seven to 10 grams per day to the average person, you have poor absorption and therefore resulting diarrhea because the C stays in the gut and holds water. It's a dramatically beneficial. A billy goat, I've told you this story before. Billy Goat sees another Billy Goat coming up on the hill, and he's got his ewes standing there, and he gets immediately all wrapped up, and he makes vitamin Z. Do you know how much vitamin C he might make, Mr. Miller? Uh, if he starts butting heads, he'll make at least 10 or more grams of vitamin C. That's a Billy Goat. How much can you make? None. You've got to depend on every bit of what you take in. So you better be sure that it's absorbed, right? Next. Incidentally, a lot of animals, almost all animals, make their own vitamin C. They don't have to eat oranges. They make it. How do they make it? From grass? Wait a minute, I heard the answer. Glucose. You're smart. Animals can convert glucose into vitamin C because the chemical formula of the two are very similar. And they have an enzyme that converts glucose into vitamin C on need. Now most of us, we convert glucose to vitamin C and sell it to you. Okay? 